So just going to hit Have on this. Have you or anyone you know ever been interested in one of those great offers? You know, like a new credit card that will give you 15,000 points towards your favorite travel destination? So, yes, I could allow that to play, but just to keep this video short, this is what you can have assigned to the users to take a training just to be sure uh, of a link before they click. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing very, very well. My name is Joseph. I am a micro certified trainer. So if you are new to this channel, you're welcome. So if you've not subscribed to the channel and you're watching my video, please try to give it a uh, hit on the subscribe button. And if you've not liked this video, please hit on the like because the content is going to be great. So today we are going to be looking at attack simulation because it is important that we consider you know driving um, security awareness of our users just to know the different attempts that these bad guys can use to break into our system so if you have m365 e5 license you can have access to microsoft uh, uh, attack simulation training but if you do not have it you can just get one add-on called microsoft defender for office plan 2 right but if you still do not have that add-on and you want to try this what i'm doing out of course you can go to your security admin center and you can activate the uh, microsoft defender for office 365 for free for 90 days that is three good months for you to do all your simulations and all your trainings for your user so having said that we are just going to be doing the very basic simulation that we are going to be using the payloads that are globally available like black friday like ebay like all of those and then we'll try them out before we move into creating our own payloads our own landing page our own uh, just name it you know as it has to do with customizing the simulation in line with what is available in our tenant or in our environment so if you come to the admin center the, that is the admin.microsoft.com and you scroll down to the admin centers you will see security admin center if you click on the security admin center then you are going to get to um the defender um admin center and then coming down to emails and collaboration then you'll definitely see attack simulation if you have that required document that we mentioned in the um uh, in the you know before now the max 5 e5 or if you have the defender for office plan 2. okay so you will see overview simulation training report automation content and library so for the report is for you to see you know the reports um of those who fell prey of the attack and all of those and then for the training the training that was assigned to those users depending on what was selected right so we are going to just click on simulation and then we come down here to click on launch simulation so this time we just want to do the basic one because these attackers can come in any form they can come to harvest credentials they can come to put a malware installed on the user's pc you know so these are the commonest ways that they can you know attack our users and that's why microsoft has created this different unique way that these users i mean these attackers used to attack our users so we're going to be doing the credential harvest in this type of technique a malicious actor creates a message with the url in the message when the target clicks on the url with this message they are taken to websites so this website appears to be like known website and they increase include their you know enter their credentials to see that they want to access whatever that is offered to them and boom they've given their credentials to the bad guy so we just want to do next then we give it a a name we just call it uh, defaults because of course this is the most basic right we're going to do everything that microsoft did default default so that's going to be the name of our simulation so we do next and then we are also going to be using you know um the tenants payload i mean the global payloads okay so we just want to maybe do black friday black friday should work because that's a very common thing right yeah i think that's fine so we can do next and then include or you know include only specific users this is selected by default you can include all users so for include selected users you could even add the distribution list right so that if you have list of users in a dl it will be get distributed to them as at when you want it to so let's just hit on add users and i'm going to add adele i'm going to add adele to this list um, and i'm going to add 
Ivrin I R V I R V. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see, see, see. Yeah, this guy should also be added. I want to add just one more user, and that user should be G R A. I think it's Grady. So yeah, so these three users are the users that I want to send this simulation to. Look at them here. So next. So let's just take our time to look through and this is saying exclude. I'm not excluding anyone. So this is saying that select training preference, assign and customer landing pages for your simulation. So I just want to use uh, let Microsoft assign training course and module based on users previous simulation and training results using the learning path. OK, so when do I want this um, um, simulation to be due? 30 days after simulation ends, right? So let's just do next. And then I'm going to the landing page, right? For the user haven't gotten fished or haven't, haven't been fished. I think that should be the right language. Where do I want them to land, right? I just want them to use template one to land, right? So we will see this at the end of it. And what language do we want for the landing page? We want English and then uh, landing page. Yeah, I'll just come down here and I'll do next. Okay, so when that goes, um, this is saying select end user notification. Select end user notification preference for this campaign. De do not deliver notification. Microsoft default notification is recommended and customize end user notification. Of course, we are doing default and recommended, you know, for recommended simulation by Microsoft. So we're just going to use English again as our language, right? And we'll just go to delivery preferences. So we want to say deliver after simulation and during simulation and all of those. So we just do weekly and then we do next. So um, this is saying that configure when you want this simulation to, to launch. So this happens if, for example, you want to make sure that you 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 yes you have the simulation prepared today but you want the the emails to get out you no know, getting delivered to users um at a certain time let's say by tomorrow depend on maybe or you want to say by four o'clock one hour before the close of business so that you can put them in a tight corner like you give them a deadline and you are saying hey quickly do this or that you know depend on what you're looking for but remember when you are setting the timing you should make sure that you take care of the time the time zone right because the time zone of these users is very very important you understand so enable region aware uh, region aware time zone delivery so this is to be checked because if you if you have users in diff in from different region in the same tenant it will obey their time zone to deliver the message to them in within that time that you are selecting here for you are selecting for those i mean the schedule that you are scheduling for the you know the mail to get delivered so the hour and then the you know select everything the minutes and then the the time that you're talking about so this is 709 that you want it to launch at what time utc plus one est whatever time that you are looking at so you should consider that so this is when you are you are scheduling it to happen in the future right but me i just want us to do what we just you know take us immediately we finish the simulation start throwing out those emails to those three guys i don't want to schedule anything so if you have questions about schedule of course you can use the comment section and I will give an answer to you the much I can, but the best of my answers I will try to provide. So I'll do next. So I just submitted. So review your simulation and then submit. So I just I just hit that so that I let the simulation just conclude and let it send out that Black Friday message to those users. So let's just hold on. Yeah, it is done. Simulation has been scheduled to launch. So your simulation defaults will be sent at this time by 444. Yeah, this is now, right? And it is out already to three users, <clears throat> excuse me, to three users. The simulation will appear as scheduled and you can view it in the list of the simulations, okay? So I'm just going to hit on, so it's say related links, go back to attack simulation train overview or go to payloads. I'm just going to do done. And then, yeah, definitely I'll come back here and I want to check the inbox of those users that were selected uh, that were targeted for this training and see how that email 
comes into their mailbox so i know that i've sent to adele i'm just going to refresh adele but i'll wait for some time and then this email will start popping in so i will keep my fingers crossed here keep yours crossed too and let us see how those emails get delivered okay so you can see the mail just jump in from one side and it's saying a black friday opportunity and this is adele sign in so i also have the grady sign in and of course grady just got it and i want to check the um iv guy and i associate the joy of trade so i'll go back to adele 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 here yeah so Adele has that email. I'm just going to click on it. And this is how the email look a Black Friday opportunity for you. And let's double click just to pop the email out. Yep. So that's up now. So what is it saying? A Black Friday opportunity for you. Joy for the trade. And the saying a Black Friday opportunity for you. And it's saying all around the materialistic world, people wait. Uh, with the day after thanksgiving to give out and start um, spending serious cash in preparation for the upcoming holiday season it's black friday uh, it's known as black friday and on this day every year uh, retailers and blah 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 just giving me details pretty much about the black friday so now it is setting two targets for me do i want to click on black friday to learn more or do i want to click on learn more so if i click on learn more here <clears throat> But then let me come and click on learn more from the body of the email so that it doesn't go and open another browser for me. So if I click on learn more, so where is it taking me to? A sign-in page. And if Adele is not careful enough, <clears throat> she only look at the um she only look at the she only look at the sign-in page. She will only look at this sign-in page that looks like Microsoft sign-in page. But if you look very closely, the URL here is saying www.pricegivers.pricegives.com. So how is that now Microsoft? So let's say the user is still not informed and still go ahead, supply credentials, next. And she tried to enter her login details completely. She just supply the details and then she signs in and then see where it's going to take her to. Wow. Adele Valles you just got fished by your security team it's okay you are a human being let learn from this rather than stealing your login credential like a cyber criminal we have redirected you to the educational page instead and assign you some trainings so those trainings are going to be here in form of reading first just to read um, where this is coming from and where you would have concentrated to know that this is malicious and then you come down to go to training so this is a training that microsoft would create for you based on your antecedents you know so just to see how attackers can come into your environment so let's keep our fingers crossed why this loads up the training for adele for clicking on the malicious link Okay, so the training is up. So this is where Microsoft is taking this guy to. So it's saying that how web savvy are you? How web savvy are you? Can you recognize web phishing? And more importantly, do you know how to avoid being hooked? Find out by trying this scenario. So just going to hit Have on this. Have you or anyone you know ever been interested in one of those great offers? You know, like a new credit card that will give you 15,000 points towards your favorite travel destination. So, yes, I could allow that to play. But just to keep this video short, this is what you can have assigned to the users to take a training just to be sure uh, of a link before they click. You know, be sure or think before you click those links. So this is just a simple, but maybe 20 minutes or less than a video for the user to have himself trained 
uh, on how to be security aware. So thank you very much. If you've watched this video to this extent, it means that you actually enjoy the content. So please try to give it a like. And if you've not subscribed to this channel yet, please, it's time to do that. Kindly subscribe. And um, if you have any question, put it on the, doc the comment section below. And I will be happy to come back to give you response to your questions. So thank you very much. And I hope you have a great day. Peace.